Hello, I'm Brett Dupree, and welcome to my awesome health journey. Uh, today I am talking about, I was thinking about this with my love of music, and uh, how for the longest time I had it in my head that music was something I liked in my life, but I didn't actually love in my life. And I realized a lot of that is due to a rebellion of that, because most of my life I always thought music was more thrusted upon me. Due to people liking to listen to loud music. Being from my dad growing up, my sister who also liked living loud music. And when I went to college, living with my uh, roommate Mike, who would also put on loud music all the time in his music. And then uh, when I moved in, and his roommate living in the basement, he'd also play loud music in um, when he was practicing his guitar. And I always felt like music was something thrust upon me, right? And so there's this thing that made me think, uh, like, so music's not that important to me as kind of a rebellion to the world. And it's like, I love music, of course. I think most people do uh, in a certain way. I mean, some people, music is their entire life. Some people can probably take or leave music. I think that's pretty much, I don't know if anyone just actually, ooh, I hate rhythmic sounds. That make me feel good. But, you know, I'm not someone who wants to make music his life or, uh, you know, uh, like anything like that or think music is the most amazing thing ever. But I do like music. I like dancing. And the reason why I bring this up is this because it's that inner rebel. Uh, one thing that ever since I got into personal growth when I was 26, so 18 years ago, is the thing that shocks me most about it is how many adult decisions I make that are based on my inner child like a six-year-old making a decision for a 44 year old man right but that happens all the time a lot of our patterns are created when we're kids and then we you know if you look into it for instance I'm just thinking about the music and liking it and but then I was thinking about other things like when I got my diabetes diagnosis, the first thing I did was get a milkshake because you don't tell me what to do. And then like a lot of times when I talk to my therapist about overeating or um, stuff like that, that's some, like I would say probably 50% of the time I order out. And a lot of times when I feel broke, there's part of me that wants to spend just because I feel that way because I feel constricted. Because freedom is one of my values. And one reason why freedom is one of my values is because I was a latchkey kid. Right? I grew up from at least when my parents got separated from when I was around eight. Uh, my dad was extremely busy. My dad raised me. And for the most part, I had to, you know, do my chores without someone telling me to do my chores. Um, uh, do my homework without someone bothering me to do my homework. Uh, cook dinner. Because... A lot of times my dad also worked nights. I remember when we first moved in, I called him the army of moms who just saw a young, attractive, buff, uh, single father who took it on their own to watch out for us as we played outside all day, me and my sister. I said, my sister and I, I never get that right. And But, you know, as we moved to different places away from Jonathan's Landing and the army of moms, though, like, I was fiercely independent because... I had to be, right? Even when I tried to get my dad to pay for my grades. Well, other people get allowance uh, when, you know, if they get good grades. He's like, you should get good grades because you want to get good grades. It should be for you. Which, yeah, he's right. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I still wanted money, you know. <laughs> but, but, you know, you know what I'm saying. So, basically, they have that fierce independence. So, anytime someone would tell me what to do especially outside of like school or coaching like places where i'd go where there were authority figures in my daily life there's a part of me who would just say fuck you you don't tell me what to do and then i want to do the opposite and i notice that in my real life a lot of the times and that doesn't serve me really i'm a 44 year old man of course i'm gonna do what i want to do but i should make more decisions about things that help me things that um uh, serve me and also to accept the fact that like sometimes I made decisions because like 
I felt I was just rebelling against people who are putting some authority on me or some uh, f- constricting me or annoying me in a certain way. I would just play music because I don't really like music super loud. And so I'm like, I don't like music. Yeah, that's that's childish. So as I'm dancing, listening to music, I'm like, oh yeah, I like music. I like dancing. Duh. And why did you think about, you, you didn't like music? Oh, because like you felt all this music was thrust upon you. So you just had to enact your inner rebellion that you have that doesn't serve letting some eight-year-old nine-year-old make your decisions as an adult no i gotta make my decisions now and embrace my love of music and embrace uh you know constriction because sometimes you just have to make a good better decision instead of thinking like you know budgeting is freedom um and better right? I don't know. This is maybe more ranty, but yeah, I think it's always good to look at how you make your decisions in life and determine how many of them are made by patterns you created when you're like eight or nine or five even, because you'll be surprised with how many decisions and um, patterns you make based on just childhood programming. And now that you're an adult, it's time to fix them and choose something better and have an adult make your decisions. I mean, would you go up to a six-year-old and ask him how you should react to something? No, of course you wouldn't. That's why you shouldn't listen to your inner six-year-old either. Um, I mean, of course, love your inner six-year-old to do all that healing stuff, but at the same time, they should not be driving your decision-making or how you deal with life and emotions. I know sometimes I'm like, I'm not going to give advice. Well, here's me being a hypocrite. Anyway, Have a great day. Like and subscribe.